Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Today I want to talk about a topic that most, if not all, music producers are going to run into at some point, and that is clipping. So what is clipping exactly? You might have seen this clipping message when you're exporting something like your song from Studio One, or you might have seen the red clip light go off in your mixer. But what does that mean exactly? Well, clipping means that in the conversion process from digital back to the analog output, like your speakers, there's a level being pushed that's too much for the converter to handle. And you might not hear that too well in a studio environment where you have really nice converters with good headroom. But if you're suddenly listening back to your mix on mom's kitchen radio, for instance, or on Bluetooth speakers or in your car stereo, then suddenly you're aware of all of these problems like distortion, you know, just artifacts, things not sounding as good as they used to that you weren't previously aware of. And to fix that, we have to mix down our songs without any clipping, ideally. And that is often easier said than done because sometimes that seems to entail readjusting all of these level faders that we've spent so much time on. And none of that is necessary because we have a beautifully transparent brick wall limiter inside of Studio One that gets rid of all of the clipping without sacrificing sonic quality. So that's what I want to show you today. I'm currently working on this mix here for a client and this is what it's sounding like so far. Right, and that sounds pretty good to me. Here in my studio, I don't notice any distortion whatsoever. So I feel quite confident that I can export this and send this over to the client. Let's say I'm just taking a small snippet of this by simply holding my mouse here to the top corner of the transport bar. That's when the paint tool appears and I can just draw the section that I want to export. I'm just going to do like from around bar 31 to bar 40. And then I go to song export mix down and just send an mp3 file. I hit OK. I don't expect anything. And suddenly I see this message clipping has occurred. The signal was 2.8 decibels over. Do I want to delete the exported file? Now I might think, huh, that sounded completely all right to me. Why would I want to delete the exported file? But as I mentioned, if I now take this file and I listen back in an inferior sonic environment with less converter headroom and things like that, then I might actually run into a couple of unexpected problems. So that's why it's often wise to just delete the exported file and redo the same thing, but with a mix bus limiter applied. That's the topic of today's video. I want to show you how you can insert a mix bus limiter inside of Studio One with just one single click, essentially, and you can make that then a part of your default song template. So you have that for all of your future productions. So I can see the clipping already before I export the song, actually. By simply taking a look at these red lights here, both in the master as well as the listen bus, which is just for my monitoring here. And the easiest way to deal with that, as I said, is just applying a mix bus limiter with a very transparent setting. So it doesn't really change anything about the sound. It just gets rid of that nasty clipping. And we find that directly built into Studio One. There's no need for any other third party plugins. I just head over to the effects section of Studio One's browser. And if I then go to the Personos effects, I should find the limiter right here. Now, if I click that, I can actually just drag a preset directly into my song. And my favorite is the minus one dB limiting preset because that gets rid of all clipping without sacrificing too much level. I can just drag and drop that here into the main out insert chain. Or I can also, if I don't have the mixer open, just drag and drop that here onto the main out level meter that you find in the transport bar. It's a nice little trick that not too many people are aware of. Now that is already applied and this is what it looks like. It's just a small plugin. You can also drive the input here. This is very useful if you want to just maximize the volume of your signal without distorting it or clipping it. Just raise that up until you hear some distortion and then back it up a little bit again. And this can be very useful if you're working with highly dynamic signals such as a piano, which tend to distort very quickly as you're raising the volume. Okay. 
So that's all I need to do. And if I export the same section right now by going to song export mix down once again, now I see that there's no message popping up again and I can send this out to the client with confidence. Now, if I just make a quick AB comparison here, you'll see that it sounds exactly like it did before. But we got rid of all of these red warning lights here of all the clipping that might have come to bite us later down the line. Okay, to make that a part of our default song template so that we always have this already inserted and we don't need to think about that going forward, we can just do file and then save as template. You can call this like my default template. You can also say like new song in brackets, my default template or anything you like. Hit OK. And next time you start a song inside of Studio One from the start page, you just click on new and then you go to your user templates and you just throw in that new default template that you just saved. So there you go. From now on, you won't have any more clipping mix downs and no more distortion in your output. And hopefully this is gonna make your music sound even better than before. Thank you for watching.